You've used the, the term artist of consciousness. Can you extrapolate on that meaning, please? I use the term artist of consciousness because I started to realize that we have a way of looking at things that comes from a type of mathematical engineering or religious point of view, which is, I'm looking for the facts, ma'am. There is a testament that you must believe. In other words, a type of predetermined outcome asking a question with an answer in mind. And why the artist of consciousness? Because I, I need to define art. We live in a world that doesn't really have much interest in art or artists, and the word has become effectively fairly meaningless. But if we define the artist in us, all of us, in every human being, as that part of our psyche, which begins to see in life that we are mentored not because we are certain of an outcome or we are even aware of what the question might be, but that we are being mentored by the qualities we ourselves are calling forth. And when we look at life and our own life, we don't realize it, but we are always cultivating ourselves with the ideas that we hold on to, what, what, what we think the world is, what the world owes us, what we dislike about the world, all of those things go into our consciousness. And it, you could argue that those are the facts of our experience. But if we only look at the facts of our experience, and this is the key of the artist element, we think like accountants. We think like the bottom line. Well, that is bad, and that is good, and they helped me, and they didn't. And so the world is orchestrated in a type of reactive mind, meaning everything's about a bottom line, and what am I owed? But when we begin to see that the artist in us is saying, you can't really begin to understand who you are by the facts alone. Because when you look at other human beings, you begin to realize with even a small amount of empathy, they are just as troubled as you are. And in many ways, more troubled or differently troubled. So it's not about finding some answer. If it was about finding an answer, we would have done that a long time ago. And oftentimes we try to arrange the world. We get an engineering equation or a religious equation or a mathematical scientific equation. And if we can just create the outer form, everything will follow suit and it never does. Because every soul has the artist soul in them. And you would say that's the part of us that wants to fall in love, wants to be in a state of wonder and say, I don't understand why, but when there's a beautiful sunset or I look at a great mountain and I see those clouds, I'm reminded of some part of myself that, although I don't experience most of the time in the world because I'm so busy, but I know that's part of me. And maybe that's the only thing we can do for the most part is take those moments of wonder, that sense of a greater human dignity, which is what I get from the human library, meaning that in spite of all of our darkness and difficulty, in spite of all the cruelty and reasons to quit, we've created a story of resistance that is revealed in our writing, our poetry, our art, our music, our architecture, our willingness to say, in spite of these things, I still choose to love. And so this is why I feel, as an artist of consciousness, it's when we begin to see that we are composed of all of these patterns, all of these keys, all of these parts. But the artist says, when you put the, car the parts together, suddenly you create a vehicle, not of judgment, but of deeper exploration. And it allows us to live with ourselves, because we're not completely geared to the outer world and what it thinks. We say, that stops where I live, where I love, because as an artist of consciousness, I can't tell you what the world should be or how it should look, but I know how I should feel. And I know if I'm not giving myself permission to say what matters, no one else will. So give yourself permission, and we have to every day. We have to be vigilant, because being an artist of consciousness is not given. It is something that we earn because we decide to pay attention differently than just what we don't like. And we begin to understand we are the resource we have been seeking, but it is not to prove, but to finally hold intimately, I am of value, even if the world passes by. Thank you.